Cell Pack, your one-stop shopping for rubber and plastic materials. Today we will be discussing the R1120 silicone ice or silicone glass. This is a very clear 10 to 1 mix ratio and we are now preparing a box with a smooth piece of plastic in the base in which we will pour this liquid against with the results of a clear sheet or pane of glass. This is used in the theatrical industry as shattered glass. It can be used in piles, it can be glued onto people for the effect. As you see, we take a box, we taped it together. We shall now pour 10 to 1 mix ratio by weight or volume of the R1120AB. As you can see, it's a very clear material. Uh, we want to make sure that we stir it well. Uh, there is no pigment in the catalyst, so we do not see a change of color when mixed properly. Uh, in this case, we will mix it till we see a translucent aerated mixture. This will tell us that we've done a good mix. Uh, turning the container, mixing the sides, pulling the material from the bottom up to the top. About a couple minute mix should do us well here. Silpax products, uh, you know, we've been making this material for many years and we're the forerunner of the industry for clear glass or shattered or cured ice. We are now pouring it in a thin stream into the pan of the plastic. Pouring from above allows a stream to fall through the air and some of the bubbles will evacuate themselves. Silpac 1120 is a tin based silicone. You will have a little bit of an ethanol alcohol smell to it when using it. Uh, the material will emit some alcohol for a few days afterwards. We're using a hair dryer here to force the air bubbles up to the surface and blow them out. Using the hair dryer, we can also help us move the material around so we can spread it thinly, about a sixteenth of an inch thick, on the plastic. Be careful to make sure you do tape your plastic, in other words, you may pull it right back. Some time has gone by and you now see m many less bubbles apparent in the material. As the material cures again, all these bubbles will alleviate and go away. We set it aside to the next day. We now pull the sheet of plastic and you, the result is a clear pane of glass. This material fractures very easily. That's what, and you can break it up into shards with no major difficulties. A pair of scissors will cut it. Today we will t actually apply some of this to the face of our contestant here, Chris. We've got some blood, we've got some MA200 silicone contact adhesive, it's a medical grade. We've got some uh, solvent to remove it afterwards. We've got the scissors to cut the pieces of silicone into shards of glass looking pieces. We're now going to ask Chris to hold his glass while I apply the adhesive to his face 
and glue it in place. MA200 is a silicone medical grade adhesive. It evaporates very quickly, so it creates a very quick tack. It is used for not only gluing these silicone glass shards onto Chris's face, but it is also used to apply other appliances of different nature from latex to silicone onto body parts. As you can see, this material just grabs almost instantly. Now we apply a little bit of blood around the glass to give the appearance of bleeding. This is a water-based, non-hazardous blood. Here at Silpac, we have our gory juice. A little on the glass ends will give the effect to the bleeding face. A little stream of blood coming down. Voila. We have a person that looks like they got glass. To remove the silicone, we will now pull gently and it will release from the skin. A little rubbing alcohol or we use this brush cleaner which is a citrus solvent will clean off the remainder of the adhesive and blood. A little bit of Halloween fun, safe and easy. And I'll send Chris home with a clean face. We can roll up our sheet of glass and use it for another day. And I thank you for joining us here at Silpac. <laughs>